today we're going to make a green smoothie. Who has green smoothie in this house? Who has it every day? It's very easy to make and if you're a working mum, a working dad, you could just make it, put it in jars and you can have it throughout the day. Give it to your children as well. Um, now you can't cheat. So the recipe is 75% greens in your um, blender, but that means you need to push the greens down, make sure there's no air between them, okay? So that way you get it as full as possible. And this is just kale and spinach and mixed greens. There we go. So we put grapes in there, frozen grapes if you can, because you don't want a warm smoothie. And banana, banana, frozen banana. So use any, any frozen fruits that you have in your fridge. Use any frozen fruits. So the majority, so the recipe is 75% greens and 25% fruits, so just on top. And that's more just for flavour, you get extra vitamins. Another key ingredient is flax seeds. Now, flax seeds are put in their hole. And the reason why is because flax seed, once it's uh, broken open, it oxidizes really quickly. So you want to put it in there and then the, bl the blender will slowly open up the seeds, it'll break them, and then that way no oxygen will get to them because they'll be inside the smoothie. So I use one third of a cup. You can use a quarter of a cup. Some people don't like putting too much um, flax seed at once because, you know, you can get stuck for a little bit until the water goes through and cleans you out. So the omega-3s in this flaxseed is so high and it's a good source for vegetarians, okay? And I've put it in there because omega-3s are an anti-inflammatory. And what do you want during flu season? You want to get inflammation down in your body. So let's go. Uh, oh, water, we can't forget the water. You've got to put water in there. Now the water needs to go all the way to the green line. So where you finish your greens, that's where you're going to fill it up with water. And it should take more than this, actually, I reckon it will take. Oh, maybe not, we'll see. Yes, we are. So we're up to the green line. So wherever your green's finished, just add the water to that line. Okay, you ready? Turn it on, go. Okay, so that's been blending for about two minutes. Um, it's nice and smooth and it's ready to drink. So there you have it, your green smoothie. Mine. Now, for my children, and this is just to let you know now, my kids are used to it, so they'll drink it like this. But if your children aren't used to it, you need to add maybe some almond milk instead of water, so halve the recipe. Put almond milk. Sorry, darling, I'm just talking. Put almond milk and put some dates in it, maybe one date or two dates, depending on how many children, and that almond milk and dates with that fruit that you've got in there will sweeten it and the kids will love it. So my kids would have a little bit of day oh, to start with. I forgot with. the day. I forgot the date. But anyway, now they can drink it because they're used to it. It just takes time. You just give them little by little and maybe give them a little incentive, like 50 cents. And um, yeah, so enjoy this recipe. Boost your immune system. We'll see you next time. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.